Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Madam Rosmaya. So what are we going to discuss uh, in this video? So we are going to discuss on this topic, uh, quantum physics, on a uh, topic with particle duality. So wave particle duality is the concept in quantum mechanics that every particle or quantum entity may be described as either a particle or a wave. So physicists who studied light in the 1700s and 1800s had an argument about whether light was made of particles or waves. Light seems to act like both. At times, uh, light seems to go only in a straight line as if it were made of particles. But other experiments show that light has a frequency and wavelength, just like a sound wave or water wave. So in wave theory of light, uh, most commonly observed phenomena with light, example reflection, refraction and interference, can be explained by waves. In the particle theory of light, uh, the photoelectric effect experiment leads to the conclusion that light behaves as particles. Each particle contains a quantum or energy or package of energy. So then, uh, electrons too were found to exhibit dual natures. So in 1923, uh, Louis de Broglie extended the idea of the wave particle duality of light to material particles. He thought that light, uh, light material particles might also have wave properties. So de Broglie proposed that the wavelength of a material particle would be related to its momentum in the same way as the momentum of a photon is related to its wavelength. The wavelength of a material particle is called the de Broglie wavelength. So we are going to derive this uh, momentum of a photon uh, given by P equals to H per lambda. So H is the Planck constant. Uh, lambda is the wavelength. So for the de Broglie wavelength, okay, uh, lambda here is equals to H per P. Okay, from the relativity theory, the energy E uh, momentum P relationship given by E squared equals to M naught squared C to the power of 4 plus P squared C squared. Okay, where uh, M naught here is the rest mass and C is the velocity of light. And for photon, M naught is equals to 0. So the equation become E squared equals to P squared C squared. Then we squaring both side, both side, we get E equals to P C. Energy of a photon, E equals to H C per lambda. So we substitute into the equation. So it's become H C per lambda equals to P C. Then we can cancel out C. So the equation become H per lambda equals to P, eh, momentum of a photon. So it is proven that uh, P equals to H per lambda. Then for the de Broglie wavelength, lambda equals to H per P. Okay, confirmation of de Broglie hypothesis. So verification of the de Broglie postulate was established in 1927 in the Davison Germer experiment. So CJ Davison and LH Germer succeeded in measuring the wavelength of electrons. So in this experiment, electrons were scattered off of nickel crystals as in an X-ray scattering experiment. So the electrons scattered from the crystals form a circular diffraction pattern. So this observation was previously only observed using waves. It was discovered when uh, X-ray were used instead of electrons. A similar diffraction pattern is produced. 
So compare these two diffraction patterns from X-ray and electrons. Okay? They are similar. So when this diffraction pattern is used to calculate the wavelength, it is found that it agreed with the de Broglie wavelength of the electrons. Okay, so that's all for um, this topic with particle duality.